interesting day and of course uh, discussing this with me on the uh, program this morning is Babatuni Lawal as we look at some of the match watching matches that will be happening in the UEFA Champions League most especially Manchester United looking at what is happening to that man called Jose Mourinho can they pull a string with the man they call uh, Cristiano Ronaldo the Ronaldo syndrome and of course talking about this with me is Babatuni Lawal Babatuni morning yeah good morning to you Okay, let's look at the, uh, the fixtures uh, for uh, the UEFA Champions League. A very interesting match order matches when you look at Manchester United, Valencia, Juventus and Young Boys. And uh, when you also look at Tottenham, uh, ba Barcelona, Milan and um, PSV. Interesting match order matches. What would you have to say about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think um, UEFA has um, done very well with the group. I mean, we've always seen uh, fantastic matches in the group stages. And for Tottenham, they will be facing Barcelona. You remember last time how they were in the same group with Real Madrid, which they actually topped. So yeah. I'm expecting nothing less. Harry Kane has scored nine out of ten goals in his ten Champions League matches. So it's a fantastic one. I know you also. I think Man City have had um, the easiest group. So far, so far, okay. because if you consider Liverpool, also they are in a fantastic group where you have um, Napoli, PSG, and um, rest of Belgrade. It will be difficult for Liverpool to actually um, navigate their way out of this group. But I think um, with Salah, with Mane, and Firmino, their expert last season should actually see them through. And for Manchester United, what else can we say? As in the whole Jose Mourinho problem right now, it's been a sign of negativity around Old Trafford, and uh, I think all the um, 92 class, the Nevilles, the schools have come out to say the coach needs to back in, even also the players also. I think um, this Champions League group stage will also as in, provide us with very good matches. Do you think that the English Premiership can also pull its strings, you know, considering what Liverpool did the last time, yeah. uh, gets yeah. into the finals of the UEFA Champions League against Real Madrid, they had to lose 3-1, uh, three, three one, one. Yes, you know? Yes. So do you think Liverpool can pull the strings, considering also that you know, they had to spend a lot of money this time around, almost all the defenders in Liverpool overhead, uh, and City, they also want to make a statement. After winning the Premier League, they want to make a statement winning the Champions League. Yeah. And for Tottenham, okay, yes, they might likely uh, also want to pull a string after winning Real Madrid and topping that group. True, uh, but true. you don't want to take anything away from Barcelona. They are the no, king of the ring. Definitely, definitely. I, 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 I'm not sure we will have um, a new winner this time because you expect the big boys to actually still be there. The Barcelona, the Real Madrid, the Bayern Munich, and um, with Juventus, what more can you say? Um, Peter Schmeichel was saying um, after the draws were made, that um, with Ronaldo in the Juventus side, he expect them to probably go on and win the Champions League. Um, Man City have been um, favoured by the bookmakers to be um, the champions. But um, I think it will, they, they might struggle a little bit because um, we've seen teams in the Champions League be very pragmatic when they go away. And you also have to know how to balance this side. So um, I think the English team can actually do well. I'm tipping Liverpool to probably go all the way, all the distance this season also. And, and for Manchester City, they can also do themselves a lot of good. Juventus, Juventus, Ronaldo, the Ronaldo syndrome. And of course, they have Napoli. Napoli making it a lot of um, a lot of way for themselves. Last season, remember, yeah, definitely. against, uh, against, against Manchester, Manchester City, City yes. and against Barcelona. Yes. They had to come back from that 3 near deficit true, and true. made it 4-3 yeah. on the night. So do you think... Syria can also make a statement this time around. Definitely. Um, you consider the fact that Napoli ha now have um, Carlo Ancelotti, a coach who has won the Champions League with um, Real Madrid and also with AC Milan, Milan twice. Yeah. So it will be um, a very good um, way for them to actually start. And um, they started the season well also. Against Lazio, they were down one goal. They came back to win 2-1. Also against AC Milan, they were down two goals, came back to win. So I think in their group, we expect a lot of goals to be scored because this team are very attacking sides. I think Inter Milan, they've not been in the Champions League for four years, so it, exactly. will, be it will be difficult for, for them. them. But I think um, Juventus are the side that has been there. I think they've been in the semi-finals in the three out of the last four tournaments. So and the Italian teams have done well for themselves, as in, and, and I'm expecting nothing less also this season. Okay, we're expecting nothing less also this season from the Italian team, the likes of Inter Milan, Juventus, and Napoli. And that man, Corey uh, Luka Modric, also won uh, the best UEFA Man of the Year award. Interesting one from him. Uh, nobody thought uh, he was going to clinch that award. Yeah, um, when you look true. at um, the likes of Salah and 
uh, Cristiano oh, Ronaldo. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody thought it was going to be uh, Luka Modric. Yeah, I think it was a shocker for the footballing world because we all expected Ronaldo to pick up the award after he was voted. Um, his goal against Juventus was voted the best goal of last year's tournament. Uh, but I think um, even for myself, I had to go back and check out um, the criteria <laughs> for, for winning the um, award. And I saw that it is not just for European competitions alone, as international competitions are also taken into consideration. And if you take into the fact that um, votes are actually being counted, yes, and it's journalists who vote. So um, a lot of sentiment could have gone into it. But you also um, consider that Luka Modric went into the final of the um, World Cup with Croatia doing very well for them. So I think this might have um, probably notched him a few um, meters ahead of his other two compatriots. So I think it's a fantastic one for Luka Modric. All right. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Babatuni Lawal, there for giving us all your thoughts on uh, the UEFA Champions League.